Bill was right. The fucking first tree no. was going to get me. You ready? Look at the size of this freaking rub. Right here's the center of the rub. Right there. Freaking main beams are coming all the way up here. Most of you have seen some of the sign that I found during rifle. Bill found some of the other sign that I hadn't. Uh, looks to be like a pretty good buck if you made it through rifle. Not the ideal way to approach this this hunting spot, but let's see what happens. Yeah, we're just gonna pack it out, take a bike ride, get in the woods, do a whole bunch of scouting, look at some sign. Ron was nice enough to even get my bike out. Somebody's gotta do the camera work and the drive, I guess somebody has to do the brunt work. <laughs> Breeze is cold. <laughs> it is a little chilly. Do you want your jacket? No. I'm putting mine on. That's a little cooler than I thought. Once we get pedaling a little bit, I'm sure we're gonna. Yeah, but my arms, they, I, I figured I'd go light in the arms. I can handle it. I can't. Yeah. Positively identify your target. Welcome you, to State Game Land. So the last three days of rifle season, Ron approached this mountain from the bottom side, worked his way up the mountain about three quarters of the way, ran into some really good buck sign. He's got this old logging rod. Right? You can see there's a nice clear bench down in there above all this thick stuff. I'm about to sit off, I'm watching it. Right here there's a knuckle, I can go up over. And I happen to just turn around and look. Dang. Holy crap. Look at those rubs. New spot. Put a hike in. Let's hope it pays off. So we decided between rifle season and archery season, we're going to get up to the top and do some scouting. Maybe try to approach it from a different direction. Work our way back to that spot towards where he's seeing all that buck sign. What a beautiful day. I can't believe we're out here on Christmas Eve. Oh, I'm not seeing a lot of oaks here. A bunch of ash in there. Well, before I wear out my quads completely, I'm going to take a walk break. It is a balloon. You know what they say, huh? Yeah, well, look what happened the last time we hunted a spot, we found a balloon. We had a buck come in the first sit. What kind of balloon is it? It's a birthday balloon. Can't even tell. It's, it's been laying there for a long time, huh? Tell you what, man, it's beautiful back here, though. I like how it transitions from it's open That's your edge. That's into, your into the pines. We could have came up here for a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> so far, this guy and I, I think we rode our bicycles probably four miles, five miles already. We're a mile in. All right, we rode our bicycles 11 miles down this road so far. This guy's dragging us way into fucking deep. No, I'm just kidding. We're we're about a mile from where we parked the truck. We I brought our like bicycles these. in. And uh, on the way in, we're just finding sign everywhere. We're on some new public land. And we're working our way down to a spot where Ron found some really good sign at the end of rifle season. So we're gonna go check that spot out as we come into some new public land. I'll check this one out. Finding some good sign in here. Thought we were more than a mile. We found this little opening here. Probably gonna end up ditching our bike somewhere. This is generally right above where I found all those big scrapes and rubs. Coming up from the bottom, it was very thick, very heavy chops, uh, dogwoods. Every two inches was just a tree getting tangled around. And then it's heavy laurels right up to my left. So I'm doing nothing but making noise. 
to carry a tree stand in there, let alone, it'd be insane. So the only thing I could do is a, a set of sticks and a saddle, maybe. I'm gonna try and get them at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, if you need to. So we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see what we find coming down through here. There's just freaking rubs everywhere. coming through hitting these. Another scrape. Wow, it's just insane. You know you're getting into some good sign, especially when you see stuff like this. There's a scrape, right? Check this out. They're hammering on this branch. And they've got it broken. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Talk about getting aggressive. That's just insane. That's a heck of a rub line right there coming up through. You find sun like this, you probably should get in, figure out where it's leading to, and hunt it. This rub line ends right here in these pines. And I got a couple heavy trails here. Really see what's over here. They have a, there's a pine over there, that big pine right there, mm -hmm. have a giant branch broken right off of it. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. He's, he's hitting that and then he's either walking this little funnel right here on this edge. Because there's nothing to this is touched up right here. Yeah, let's just head out through, see what we find. I'm, I'm not trying to run you through the dirt, but you're all right. Oh uh, yeah, I don't care. Let's, let's get in. Maybe try to stay on the edge of that hollow. What do you think? That's pretty neat. All right, folks. Now this is a perfect example as to why you don't always hunt the same spot. You'll burn out your tree and you'll burn your spot. You'll never see nothing again once you burn it out. Now this is pretty neat folks. Looks like it got cracked by lightning. That's just weird. Look at it. Oh, it's just burnt. It's Mother it's Nature. Not even all the way to the ground. Mother Nature, dude. The only burnt tree in the middle of nowhere. See, it's open for you. It's not that bad. This is for the cave up here. I don't know if it's a bear cave or coyote den or what. Oh crap, look at that one. That's a dandy rub. There's a, there's a scrape too. That only looks like you hit it like once. Like you just passed through here. Yeah, and there's a scrape over there. I'm gonna walk down too. Looks like the walk in the top edge too. No heavy. Now, does this not kind of resemble where I got my buck last year? See what corners around here? Basically I'd have been sitting like up in here. I got the creek down here. I got the other open edge over there. So we're on top of the mountain and the mountain splits. And there's a creek that runs down through the mountain and then it splits off into a bunch of springs down at the bottom. The shallowest point is bold. It cups. It gets thick right here. This is your edge off the walls. This is their first clear spot. They walk through there. Let's walk over through there and we'll just cut up. Yeah. The yeah let's. So the way I, let's see what's up here. Walk our butt top of the road off the top there, yeah? 
because I don't want to push in there because I have a feeling he's in there. I'm seeing what I need to see to kind of confirm this is the end that I need to be on. And what's cool is you can set up on either side depending on the wind. I wouldn't mind putting a set either right there where it knuckles down. Yeah, over here. Let's go see if there's a tree over here. It, it looks like that's what I might want to put a set. Oh, we should take a little break right here. Oh, no, look at that. We should. Let's. This is meant to be a dual body hunt spot right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Though. I'm telling you, if there's a sign right here, I would. I bet they come right down off this little corner here. I'm excited to get up there to the top and see what's up there. Let's look at this corner real quick. You're, you're not in a hurry yet. Are you okay? I got nothing to do to it. I'm not only drinking alcohol, I'm happy. This is healthy. I bet it's going to be hammered in here with rubs. We're getting into a pine tree transition. I love it. Yeah, I'll bet there's rub lines in there right there. No, we're not going to go in. I just want to see this little transition yeah. right here. Sorry, man. Bill was right. The fucking first tree was going to be. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. Look at the size of this freaking rock. Holy crap. Hey, here's the center of the rub right there. And those freaking main beams are coming all the way up here. rub I was just telling Ron about every other year the acorns drop one year they don't drop here another year they might drop and that's why we're seeing the historic rubs well sometimes it's a hit and miss got rubs in there there's a big giant rub right inside the tree line See it right in there. Dude, this is birch. There's an old historical rub. We just found some birch. I, I gotta go get control around because I wanted to sneak in there a little bit. Big bush of pine trees right there. right there. Yeah, I just want to see if that's bedding. Well, let's figure out where he's accessing it the most then. He's not really coming out in the open here, probably till nighttime. He's in here because there's good cover. Sap running out of that one. We just ran into some mega sign up here after not seeing a whole lot of sign when we first came in here. Now I found some major bedding. And we're skirting around the outside of all these rub lines. And we're going to try to figure out where he's using his access in and out the most from bedding. Acorns everywhere. His buck's got a hammered in here. Good Lord, all the way in there. Yeah, holy crap, look how high this one is. down here.
we have a pretty good idea. This box of bedding right down here in this patch of pines. It's a good thick transition. Pines, ash trees, laurel. There's some saplings and dogwood in there. Yeah, there's an access point there. And there's one here. I mean, there's rugs, but they're really dying out. Rubs, a couple rubs in there. I bet you this is where he's coming in and out. So he's probably bedding right in here. And he'll he'll come out here and walk probably all day long because he has cover. I think we're already on top of him, dude. I'm saying to hunt, you might have to be sitting right on top of him. A heck of a rub line up through here. We followed it for a good 75 yards and then it just stopped. So we're going to walk a little bit further and see if we can find more trails where he's going in and out of bedding. What is that? Is that hair? Is that hair in there? Yeah, it is. Is it an adult? It's not a fawn. No, it's an adult. I'm hoping it's an adult. Maybe somebody shot and it laid here and died. Yeah, that's that looks like it laid here and died. But uh, I'm wondering, is it a doe or a buck? There's no bone. I'd like to find some kind of bone or so, something to tell me if it was a, a male or a female. They drug it all off. It's gone. Coyotes. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother looking. Yeah, it's. I mean, at least it went back in here. This kind of shows you where they bed. Seriously. Yeah, they're definitely. Came, came right in off the trail and laid right here. Yeah, they're definitely in here. I think it was a archery or rifle hit, and it came in here and laid down and died. Just surprised we don't see any bones. But you could tell we the depression. You could tell that was a whole deer. But Tyler took it off and eat it. Bears, coons, mice. Yeah, they could have probably drug it for. Well, yeah, look. Who knows? They drug it off that way. All the hair goes that way. We might see more. Let's walk that path. We might find some more out on the car. Maybe they drug it out there to eat it. If I had to guess, dude, they're bedding on that big giant corner where those big pines are. Yeah, bedding no, on that know. big corner there, and they can they can walk out and see down over that whole funnel. Mr. Bear, bear poop. I think we should backtrack yeah. and pick out some trees. Honestly, where I would like, there's two places I'd like to be. And there's that bench that I have over there, but now at this point with the walk we're taking, we're taking an extremely long hike through some good ground. Yeah, there's a bunch of bucks up here. But, most all the signs says big. So once we found all the access points where we thought the deer were moving in and out of bedding most, we located a couple of the trees for the best wind scenarios. We noticed that the deer are traveling quite a bit between the bedding area and that field that we passed on the way in earlier. So even though there's good sign over near that field, there's good staging area, lots of acorns, heavy rub line, really good sign. There's a slim chance we're gonna see deer coming through there during daylight hours, maybe super early in the morning, maybe late towards the evening. We're still not sure we're going to be able to get back to this location to hunt it for late archery season. 
You know there's a lot of nice bucks running these mountains. 200 square miles of public land is a lot of space to cover. The love of being outdoors and the challenges it brings gives us the motivation to keep pushing forward. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.